Hey everybody, what's up? We have now officially reached 1,010 subscribers. Yes, we have 10 more than the goal of 1,000. And I want to thank you guys so much because it's been a long journey since my fail videos all the way to my best videos. That's just my opinion. But anyways, what I've got for you today is the surprise video. And to begin, I have launched my website. If you guys remember, when I first started editing these videos, like for example, let's start with this one, USF Jiza. All right, so what the heck is this? I don't know if you're in me, but what the heck is this? Sharp edit, what? This is PC Box Studio. What are you talking about, boy? Anyways, yes. Um, this is me. Sharp edit. Yeah. I also... Never mind. Um, this... I was intending to go by this editing name, so I didn't actually change sharp edit until, like... I don't even know. Was it Taiwanese? Whatever. I'm gonna stop clicking random YouTube videos, okay? But, yeah. So, this is sharpedit.com. This is my new site that I've just been working on for the past month or so um it's my blog and portfolio um you can see videos and stuff that i actually actually have not um uploaded onto pc box studio um special stuff here check it out but anyways um let's go to the blog and i've got this pc box celebrate um celebrates with an exclamation point um it's my blog about reaching 1,000 subscribers, which is, wasn't February 1st. It was like February 3rd or something like that. I just wrote this early. But um, what you want to do is you want to read everything here because um, it tells you what you get. But I'm just going to show you guys. Um, you're going to click download the pack here. Now that we click here, we're going to save it to the desktop. Boom, but I've already saved it. Anyways, now that we're on the desktop, we're going to open the zip. It is a ZIP zip file, but I opened with mine with WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, you can use WinZip or 7Z. 7Z is free. Just um, click the link below or on this annotation, and you can download it for free. But we're going to extract this to the desktop. And um, the first thing you got to do is open it up and uh, read the README. Because um, if you don't read this, then quite frankly, you will not you will not be able to use this pack because yeah just read it because it contains like two sentences and it's really cool anyways on to the installation but um let's gonna go to my computer and we're gonna go to the C drive and program files um, depending on what operating system you're running if you're running 64-bit or 32-bit operating systems then it will vary on here these two guys here um, hopefully you have understanding of which one which uh, location you need to install this in but um, for 64-bit I'm going to program files we're gonna go into the Adobe After Effects support files basically for 64-bit or 32-bit operating systems just go to the support files in your After Effects directory and we're gonna go into the presets and here we go um, I actually have this installed so I'm gonna remove it for now but um, we're going to go take the presets, what's inside, just these two guys here. I'll explain it later. Just copy it. Instead of move, how, see how it says move to presets? We want to hit control, and it'll say copy. And there it goes, copies it, and it stays here and here. Okay. Next, we are going into the support files and plugins. And then we want to go to our op optical flares. Here we are in our optical flares folder. We're going to go into presets, lens flares. And I have it here, but I'm going to delete it again. Delete. Um, now, we are going to take our 10 most awesome flares in this pack, because there are only 10 flares, and we're going to copy them. See how it says move? We're going to hit control, and it copies it. It's here and here. Awesome. Now, now the last thing we have to install is the looks presets, which um, you got the Apex, Cessation, Prodi, Taiwanese, these kind of looks. Um, Let's back out. I'm hitting the backspace button because it's so cool. But I am lazy. I'm just going to go to my C drive. And um, what we want to do is go into x86 or program files. 
But just look for the um the I cannot we all know our alphabets. Come on, come on. Oh here we are. Looks builder. Yes, we finally found it. Um go into the looks builder into the looks and I have it here but I'm gonna delete it again but we're gonna copy control move and it copies it in that's it the installation is done the last thing you have to do is um, open this up and you can get a preview of what's inside yep yeah. get a preview of yeah, what's inside anyways the only thing I ask is you guys don't re-upload this and claim it as your own because um, I did spend a lot of time building it and anyways into After Effects alright so we are now in After Effects I've reset my workspace so it's a lot simpler for now but um we're gonna go into the uh, movie clips and um just to show you guys I've had these clips recorded since August of 24th 2010 yeah not gonna lie it's already 2011 it's February 7th 2011 that's like that's like six months ago alright so I did not spend six months working on this I spent like maybe two months but oh yeah replay's gone bad and you can't do anything so I'm just waiting for the replays to get fixed I'm terribly sorry I really thought they would have been fixed by now but anyways they're gonna take a clip and drag and drop it in there alright so now we got this clip the only limitation is um, I recommend you record at 1024 by 768 30 frames a second okay okay take the soldier front clip and drag and drop into the new composition go composition settings control K wow I did not know that and we're gonna use this 720p preset we're gonna go into the animation presets PC box studio presets and this is um, Oh, this is red name. I I just know because it's got this junk on the bottom. So we're gonna crop red name. Just apply it, and that will solve all the problems in the world. Because um. Because yes, it solves all the problems in the world. Anyways, this is it. We're gonna uh, make a new adjustment layer. We're gonna apply looks. Yes, this is Magic Bullet Looks. Awesome plugin. I recommend you guys get it so you can use this pack. But anyways, um, here we go. I've got these um eight awesome looking presets uh... this one called cessation very similar to the one from usf cessation i rebuilt it from magic bullet mojo plus looks so i kind of re replicated the look going on here so this is that one got this one called apex um... rebuilt this one from mojo two i mean not mojo two but mojo also because um... this that one kind of used magic bullet mojo plus looks but that combined equals this one awesome preset. And then I've got this one called USF Prodi. This is not exact, um, but um, very similar. Very similar. Yeah, just play around with it. Pretty fun. So that one's called Prodi. I got this one called Taiwanese. This is the exact one from Taiwanese. I do regret adding this little edge softness. I hate this. It's so annoying. Such a newbie move. Same with this. Well, wow, now that looks super exposed. Anyways, if it's super exposed, just turn it down or something. And then I've got this one called Invincible, which is really awesome and I never used it before. Except for once, I think. Really cool. Love this one. Um, then I've got this Pink Shine. This is actually my favorite. Um, it's just so cool make it like purple or blue yeah anyways I've got this one called you look different um, vintagey old style look different then I got this hamburger one just named it hamburger because um, it looks like hamburger meat or something whatever so that is how you use the looks I'm gonna use the invincible and get rid of the vignette so here's the looks going on really cool awesome 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 okay so now that's that. We're going to move on to the uh, optical flare. So I'm going to make a new comp. Make a new solid. Um, yeah, make it comp size. Okay, we're going to apply 
optical video copilot optical flares i think everyone pretty much knows what this plugin does it is a lens flare generation generator plugin thingamabob for camera stuff and motion graphics and blah 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 but anyways you're going to click options and if you installed it properly you should see this pc box studio flares you got 10 awesome presets made by me and no one else well I can say Andrew Kramer's team did make some of this because they put the plug-in together but anyways you got this awesome looking one called awesome blue and it's got nice dynamic triggering and it's just got this little shiny effect going on if you don't want this little purple hotspot as it moves to the center you can just um delete it see if you don't want this glow increasement like that, you can just delete it. Now there's no dynamic triggering at all. But that, that's pretty cool. Then I've got this one called Blind. It's like a sun effect that I saw on Flickr, and then it's it. I just tried to make it cool. Anyways, Digital Fog, one of my favorite ones in the pack. Awesome for titles and sky effects and whatnot. And then i got this one called Interface for like a sun digital effect. Michael Bay Mod, it's the Michael Bay Flare from USF Prodi that I used and I modified it a bit. Got one of my, another favorite one called um, Purple Sky, I think. Yeah, Purple Sky. Um, it's got this nice reflection digital glass look and um, apparently this is, this caustic is really bright or multi iris, so I'm going to turn it down. Yeah, that's way too bright. Looking good, looking good. And now I got this Sankor one from the lens flare, no, the, the lens. And it's got this nice hoop ring. These nice little artifact things going on. Got this one called Shining Sun. Another one I saw on Flickr. Got the uh, rainbow chromatic effect here. Pretty useful for photo manipulation stuff. Got this one called Skyline. This is the pretty much the replication of the the aliens that attack the uh, the Earth, right? I don't know if you saw that movie, but um, it was okay. So there's that one. Yeah, the, see, he, it's like attacking, but whatever. Then I have this Star Trek one, which I've oh, this is uh, absurd. It should be a hundred. Okay, so this one I saw on Star Trek, and or I saw on Google Images, actually, and it was like a Star Trek lens flare, had this pink stuff going on. This is like for close-up and an artsy-looking thing, so if you had a close-up picture, you can maybe go something like that, and then let's say make a new solid, and um, just make it like orange or something. Let's grab the elliptical tool, something like that. MM to feather it out, put it behind. Whoops, that's wrong. No, that's right. Set that to add. Ooh, that's that's not right. Whatever. It's all up to you whatever you want to do with this. I mean, you don't really understand what I'm doing, but this is like some interesting technique you can do. And then you can like put the put the dude's face or something. Whatever pretty creative. Anyways, that is the 1,000 subscriber thing I had for you guys. It's free. All I ask is don't re-upload it. And um, if you like this pack, share it with your friends. Tell your friends but, and um, just link them to the download. Send them to my channel. Tell them to subscribe and do all that good stuff that will benefit me and it will entertain you, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, USF Prodi is on the way, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.